What's up, YouTube? And let, let me adjust the lighting here. There we go. There we go. How's that? Better? Phenomenal. Okay. Vlog time. <laughs> I know. How long has it been? Gosh, vlog. Wow. Wow. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how long it's been since I, uh, since I did a vlog. What we're doing running right now. And I've been trying to tweak the format of it. This, this is, I would say, the eighth or ninth take that I've tried to make a proper, coherent vlog. So I'm just going to try to roll with it this time and forget the whole formalities and uh, just try and talk about some stuff and just catch up with you guys, you know? That's, that's what it's all about, right? Catching up with you guys. So first thing we're going to start out talking with is uh, pickups, you know? an MP8, I gotta talk to this guy, he always asks, asks me, like, what'd you pick up, or, or he tells me what's good, what's bad out there, and you know what, I appreciate that, dude, I really do, and I do listen to all your information, um, I do have to disagree, Ripclaw is a good toy, Ripclaw I like, um, not great, but good, that's all I'm gonna say, it's, it's got its faults, but it's got its positives. And I don't even know where I'm going with that. So, uh, there you go. But, a couple things I picked up uh, just recently. Nothing too special. First of all, uh, this isn't really a pickup. This is more a matter of, um, somebody just sort of gave these to me. Legends class, or, or Legion class from Cyberverse. Uh, Tailgate. I like this thing. I like this thing a lot. This almost makes me want to start collecting Cyberverse. Almost. Not quite. I'm mainly getting Cyberverse stuff because of that big Metroplex coming out. Yeah. And I want to get at least maybe half a dozen Cyberverse things to go with it. Autobots mostly, so... Because it's an Autobot City. Then make a Trypticon, we'll, we'll deal with Decepticons then. But right now, let's deal with what we're dealing with right now, okay? So, nice Tailgate. Tailgate's very nice, very nice figure. Um, if you collect Cyberverse, I would highly recommend the, wi the Wind Charger. No, Wind Charger's not a Cyberverse. No, I would I would highly recommend the Cliff Jumper mold, which is Tailgate here, just recolored into whatever this is. Teal, white, little red there, I don't know, yellow, piss yellow, piss, piss yellow, that's what that is, that's piss yellow. So, he's he's a well-colored figure, that's for sure. Great articulation and everything, um, I, that's like a whole review right there. Fantastic transformation, great vehicle mode, great robot mode. Again, if you collect Cyberverse, this is one to pick up. Now, on the other hand... Cyberverse Knockout. Piece of shit. That's what that is. Let's talk about that for a second. You know what? Let's have another segment. Yet another segment. We're segmenting this thing. That's what we're going to do with it. Another segment. And here we go. Stuff that pisses me off. Knockout. That's right. <sighs> He's a bitch of a character. His toys are bitches. He can't have any good weapons that come with him. The Deluxe Knockout is a piece of shit. It is. I bought it. I bought it. Opened it. Took it out of the package. Transformed it twice. Then sold it on eBay. That's how bad it was. I have never not displayed something on a shelf. Even Armada Hotshot, I displayed on a shelf for a little while. Not Deluxe Knockout, and definitely not Cyberverse Knockout. I'm pretty sure he's broken, but screw it. I don't care. He's a piece of shit, and I don't feel right about selling that to someone. 
because screw it, that's why. I might end up taking the parts and, and peeing on them. I might do that, because I can't stand the character, I can't stand the toys, I can't stand the flimsiness of it, the smallness of it, the crappiness of it, the lack of articulation and engineering. There's excuses for poor quality, plastic-wise, because resources are thin and everything. One thing I will not accept, one thing I will never accept, especially with things like this, is a lack of inspiration. And that is what Knockout portrays to me. Complete lack of inspiration. Hasbro, Takara, whoever or whatever stupid piece of crap mind designed that is garbage. Whoever designed this, genius. Whoever designed that, garbage. Uh, maybe it's the same guy. Um, he ate his Wheaties that, this morning, and he smoked a lot of reefer the next morning. Maybe you want to take a day off. Buddy, if you want to take a day off, don't make Transformers on that day. That's all I can say. Okay? And that stuff that pissed me off. That's right. we got to throw some shout-outs out there. Because it's been a while. It's been too long. Gosh, YouTube. I'm sorry about that. I really am. I try to get with you guys, but... Oh, that's, that's another subject. We'll, we'll deal with that at another time, place. Or never. Never. We may never deal with that subject. But shout-out time. First shout-out. I already said it earlier, but Aaron MP8. Hey, man. Thanks for keeping up with the videos. Thanks for all the, the communication. Giving me the whole advice about stuff. Keep it coming. I'm always looking for another perspective on things. What's good? What's bad? What's awesome? What sucks? I, I always like talking about that stuff, so... Keep it up, man. All your input is appreciated. I may not agree with it all. Again, I like Ripclaw. I like Ripclaw. I'm sorry. It's it's, it's a dragon. It's a dragon. I, I like dragons. I have a dragon shelf. I like dragons, okay? It's, that's me. I don't have... I got rid of my Beast War stuff. Most of it, at least. Except for my dragons. And a couple other things that I really, really, really liked. But in other... Anyways... Aaron MP8, keep keep rocking on, man. Keep it keep it rolling. Next shout out, gotta give it, gotta give the next one to, of course, of course, Blunghole, the tapeworm of Unicron. My God, I've watched this guy's videos for a while, and I guess the last video I did. Made him laugh so hard his arse exploded. Which, uh, I have read my condolences on that. And, um, it's, it's never good when you blow out your sphincter. It's just, it's not good. It's a bad thing, even. But, <laughs> I gotta say, man. The tapeworm of Unicron is an inspired idea. And wherever you came up with it, sir, is a happy place. <laughs> that was funny. And he recently, again, he commented on the video, subscribed to everything. Thank you for subscribing. And I know I don't get to all of you that do subscribe to me because I'm busy, slash tired, slash lazy, slash a whole slew of excuses that really shouldn't be excuses. But they are. Because I'm this guy. So that's how it goes. But thank you, Blonghole, the Tapeworm of Unicron. Thank you for all you do to cause intestinal distress in the god of chaos. So, there's shoutouts for you. Viewer questions, viewer questions, and the answers you deserve. Yeah. Most of you that asked questions last time probably forgot that you did. That's okay. I'm still going to answer them because they're on the comment section of my last vlog, so get ready to have them answered. But let's, first, before all that, we're going to have establish some question and answer sort of boundaries. First rule, there are no rules of what you can ask. Ask whatever the hell you want. I don't care. Yeah, I'm, I got nothing to hide, so fire away. Secondly, for the time limits or time periods, here's what's going to happen. Ask whatever questions you want between now and the next vlog, and when I do the next one, that's when those questions get answered. There's no time limit, it's just 
ongoing thing. It's going to go until I can no longer make vlogs. And just know that they may not be answered for several months. Or they may be answered next week. I don't know. My schedule is completely up in the air. So, there's there's that. Uh, next, last sort of rule, guideline sort of thing. When you ask a question, specify whether you want it to be for me or for the dude that wears a box on his head. I don't know. I'll try and hook up with that guy. He's Again, his schedule is just as flighty as mine is. I, I don't know. He works at Walmart, so... I don't, I don't know what's with him. Walmart sucks, but he works there. I think he just likes being around all the boxes in the warehouse. He's, he's got a thing for him. Don't, don't ask me. Don't ask me. So, without further delay, let me answer those questions that have been on your mind. Uh, so, as I said, we got questions for two people from now on. Uh, well, one person and, and, well, one other thing. So, question for me, only one question is just for me. Uh, it's from Mantis99s, and he asks, Why have you not put up some shelves? The frame is empty behind you. It is, isn't it? Well, except for these boxes over here. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe, maybe this would help. There. Good frame. Good frame there. But that, then you can't see me. You can see me now, but you can't see them now. It seems we've reached an impasse. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think on that one some more. But uh, I'm working on this frame over here. We got good lighting now. That's half the battle. Next up, we got questions for both of us, so I'll go ahead and answer first since I'm already here. Uh, out of all the official Megatrons who have ever existed, minus the Megatron from the Prime Universe, who is the one best capable of destroying an army of zombie bumblebees? Like I said earlier, I like dragons, so I'm going to have to pick a dragon former. And if you're talking an army of zombie bumblebees, best Megatron for doing that isn't necessarily a Megatron... Uh, in in the states he's called Megatron, but in the Japanese version of the show, car robots he's called Gigatron or Devil Gigatron. I would say one of those two would have what it takes to do that job. Yep, Gigatron. He's got ten modes. He's got double swords that can be combined into a quarter staff. Turns into a two-headed dragon, and you know a two-headed dragon is going to be able to wipe out a bunch of zombies. Here's a picture. I mean, look at this guy. Y you think that's going to take any guff from a friggin' army of bumblebees? No, it's not. It's going to murder them all. All right. So then, the rest of these are all for someone that is not myself. So, uh... Let me just go ahead and get some liquid, and I'll go ahead and get them for you. Alright, here's looking at you two. Mm. I, that does not taste normal. Oh. questions that you have all asked me. Oh, well, I'm certain <coughs> I can help you with that. Your questions are but flimsy paper. And I shall give you the answers you seek. Let me try to get it straight here. Ah! Of course, first, Aaron and Pete, you ask, of the whole Megatron, zombie bumblebees, and other such things 
having to do, of course, with other things having nothing to do with macaroni and cheese. Mm, I respect that. Mm. But, which Megatron I think is the best one? Well, of course, this one. Now there's a man even my evil doth respect. So, next, Mantis Nine Nines. There are nine of them. Nine Nines. Perhaps you should call yourself 81. Yes. Yes. That's right. If you take Nine Nines and add them up, 81 is the answer. Oh, I know math! <laughs> he says to me and asks, of course, by your accent, I deduce you to be a graduate of St. John's University. Can you do any fake accents? I would love to hear one. Southern gentleman. Well, I can indeed do fake accents. And since you are indeed a mantis of many nine, I will grant your request. First, I will go backward because that's how I roll. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We begin with Scott. <coughs> What's going on, Annie? Eh? Hope you all had a good time here. Yeah? Uh, got some pancakes, some syrup. And some other things going on right now. Alright, uh, don't you know? Go ahead and and, uh, and uh, I'll make breakfast. Alright, I'll make breakfast for you. Okay, there you go. That was Scott. Next. I'm just going to go to the first one now, because I can. Southern Gentleman. Look, I am from the South of America. Not Russia at all. This is not Russian accent. No. It has southern gentlemen. This is why I speak like this. I measure things in meters because I am southern gentleman. <laughs> Very good. I'm two for two. <laughs> and finally, last but certainly not least, Australian. our homes. They can take our lives. They can take our land. But they can take our freedom. That was Australian? Yes, Australian. I'm going with that. <laughs> Finally, the last questions come from Damn you, hotties! Damn you, hotties! Sometimes, behind your hideous massage, I spy what appears to be human features. Does the mask hide a hideous, deformed man, or is there? Another reason. Well, I'd hope to avoid this, but let me first show you what I once was. Truly a handsome devil, if I ever saw one. But now you ask, what lies beneath 
the facade. Fools! You knew not what you asked. You knew not. No. Behold, this shirt makes up my face. And this hat makes up my head. These are my human, for lack of better terms, face. Facial expressions. And his last question about my comments on his video. <laughs> oh, I made one. And I assure you, Mr. Hussies, I shall be visiting you again. <laughs> So there's that done. Jeez. I've got to stop drinking this stuff. But, anyways, remember, once again, whatever questions you may have, uh, go ahead and ask them. Again, all questions, anything's fair game. And I'll get to them when I get to them. So, until next time, you two. There is your vlog. There's a whole bunch of stuff. It's been like a whole bunch of little videos crammed into one big thing. If you sat through the whole thing, kudos to you. You know, go ahead. Go on out. Buy yourself a Legion class tailgate to celebrate. And if you didn't make it through the whole vlog, then um, then you can have what's left of my Legion class knockout. Because uh, nobody likes a quitter. Nobody, nobody likes a quitter. All right, YouTube. Till next time, guys. Thank you, and catch you later.